Hey there everyone, how's it going? So, this is gonna be a separate po This here's gonna be a separate project- A separate project for me. My buddy Gray is gonna be- My buddy Mountain Man is gonna be- He's gonna be doing the regular Luigi's Mansion. And here I'll be doing my own thing with it, which is I'll be going for 100% completion. Or rather, I'll try to. Essentially go for all the ghosts, all the rubies, or other gems, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not quite sure what the 200% for this game is. I've never done it before. <laughs> but I'll be doing it now. And with this, I'll be using a special version of the game that I had gotten from a guy who... Who... He makes these for a living. <laughs> he tends to make these for a living. And he's very good at it. He's very good. He's done it. Let's see. I believe he's done it for Twilight. He's done it for. He's done it for Twilight Princess. Uh, he's done it for Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, Majora's Mask 3, 3D, as well as this. And I don't know what it is, but the guy is masterful. Like seriously, it's amazing. And and dude. If you're watching this, props to you. You made you made something amazing. You have my respect because this is out of this world. But with that, let's get on to it. Just some really fat grills. Seriously, dude. I don't know what the guy did because I don't know the progress. Process. But what he did here is immeasurably amazing. Like, I am stunned. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I saw that recently Nintendo had remastered uh, Luigi's Mansion. A Nintendo had recently remastered Luigi's Mansion 2. Um, Chris, uh, Dark Moon, and and I'll be honest with you guys, I have not played the game at all. Back when it first came out, I didn't get the chance to, because while well, I had a because well, I had a 3DS. 
I wasn't really giving much of an allowance, so I couldn't really get the game. And for this game, my introduction to it was that I rented it from Hastings like so many years ago. I never really got around to finishing it. Well, I'd say now I can change that. <laughs> And by chain, <laughs> and in the process, and in the process of changing that, I can share it all with you. Oh, sh I sure take a lot of, I sure take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. This house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fellow like you doing around here, anywho? Oh, this looks ugly. Alright, youngster, look lively. Follow me post haste. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm. Where is this, you ask? Why, right, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor E. Gad's Ghost Research Laboratory. Lab, if you're out of a... At the lab, if you're of a shortening mind. You won this mansion in the contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe the mansion actually exists, then? Strange. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. And I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all. But I surely wouldn't be too happy. I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a good look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat kind of like yours went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat. And he never returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? That's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, hmm, Chris, I call it, and this is genius, the Poultry Gust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let it rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. No matter how strong you think your brother is, Ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. <clears throat> well, how's about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit it with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, <laughs> Chris, you can stun them momentarily. And it's vacuuming time! When you see your chance, hold down the R button and <laughs> until the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more that way than just because I'm just listening to me yap about it. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost <laughs> a ghost's heart, that's your chance to vacuum them up. I get the picture. When 
not surprised Ghost Heart appears. Vacuum it with the R button and the control stick. Thank you. Stop repeating yourself. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> Ghosts love to hide in dark places. Isn't that a hoot? Well, here they come. Suck him up too, come on. How many did I get? Seven. Not bad. Sure. Okay, guys. I don't really know much about this game. What I do know is that this is the gallery. <laughs> For when you capture all the uh, ghosts themselves, they'll all be paintings here in this gallery. And for when you get treasures, they'll all be in this room here. All the money, all the gold, the coins, the, I guess the gems, rubies, and... Gems, rubies, sapphires, <laughs> emeralds, you, <laughs> you name it, you name it. They're all going to be here. And oddly enough, every ghost in this game has a funny description in, in some way. I believe every description they have gives a clue as to how they died. Well, for searching for clues around the okay. for searching for clues for searching for clues on the room this is how you do it it's the game boy horror that's a statue a very tall angel statue by the looks of it Genius. So do you have the th so do you have the hang of that thing yet? Oh, and get this. They can move. You know, I could be wrong here, but. I can't help but think that these statues are alive. I could have sworn they were, to some degree, I think. If I'm wrong or if I'm right, please tell me in the comments. I'd like to know, because I could be misremembering.
was it till now, but you can actually see the detail in Luigi's clothes. <laughs> and thank the ghost for chiming in. I forgot that on occasion, <laughs> at random intervals, you'll have the ghosts try a lot of different things. <laughs> By essentially manipulating everything around you to try and spook you. That was one of those things. I wasn't expecting it, so it surprised me. But it made me remember on the spot. Oh, Toad. Yeah, I'm here, Toad. I bet, Toad. I can only imagine what horror is going on in this house. No problem, buddy. Leave it to me. Oh, yeah. One thing also a note. There could be money hidden around here. So so always use the vacuum to always use the vacuum. Always use the vacuum because some because some furniture in this game has some hidden money around. Just like that. <laughs> Mr. Lime Green. I won't lie to you guys, back when I was a kid, and he said Mr. Lime Green. I don't know why, but for some reason I kept thinking he called me Mr. Lima Bean. Okay. Come on, buddy. Slow on the draw. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, and, uh, here's one thing. <laughs> Here's one thing I gotta remember. Uh, for those who are young and are trying to and trying to delve in older games like this, um, upon doing this and getting the key or making it appear, do not leave the room once it, Chris, Chris, once it appear, once the chest appears, do not leave the room. Do not leave the room because I know for a fact that if you do, if you do, that that will disappear, and you'll have soft locked yourself out of progression, and you don't want that.
So never do that. <laughs> And check it out, getting all this ching, ching, ching. Like right now, it's like Jackie Ma from Sleeping Dogs. I don't understand as to why the door. I don't understand why the door transitions as. I don't understand why the door transitions and the game player are different frame rates. I think that's also I think that's also the case for Resident Evil on the GameCube. Yeah. There you are. Oh boy. Nice shooting, Tex. Yeah, gold bar. And a heart. Oh. One little precaution. There are also blue ghosts that carry money, as well as as well as the gems you're looking for. I'm taking a precaution um, save state so that way I don't lose out on that. Because once you because once they're gone, they're gone for good. It sucks. I can do it. Excuse me, he just takes off running. No! Damn! Come on! I got him. You're next. You are too. Come on.
Gotcha. There we go. <laughs> oh, do not go do not go near that. Those hurt. No. And always remember, do not do not leave the room whenever the key appears. You'll soft lock yourself, and you don't want that. Two toads so far. Okay. So, so did the Princess Toad Soul by chance send a toad to go after Mario? And then once the first toad didn't rip. And once the first toad didn't rip. I didn't return or say anything. She sent another? Are there more of you in here? I'll find him. Oh yeah. Always gotta be careful. Sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've yet seen. I, de I detect spirits stronger than we've yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts <laughs> you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. No, not at all. And you find when you should first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise him. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Don't fall for this. this is a trap. It's a fake door. And you'll know because you'll look up. <laughs> and, you and you'll know because you'll find on the. And this is how you'll know. The map tells you. The map is your best friend. Unfortunately, everybody, that's all the time. That's all the time we have for today. Or for tonight. <laughs> I hate to cut things short, but things go, you know? Things happen. But with that, with that, I'll catch you guys next time. Or tomorrow. <laughs> catch you later.